So, hey, what were some of the, um, do you remember some of the songs then that Alan taught you? We taught me freight train, for sure. Which I've been playing for years. But, but I mean, over the years you add things. You sure, yeah, and it doesn't sound anything like what he added. I remember learning a little bit of flamenco stuff from him. You know, we worked on that a little bit. Yeah. But then I, I only vaguely remember uh, working on one on a bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. Remember that tune? Yeah. Was it an A? I don't know. Might have been. I, I played in C from I think so. You know, so I don't know, I don't know which, which version came from him or whatever. It, may, it was probably originally an A, and I just never knew. Um, I think that's how Paxton did it. I can't remember. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe and on. then another one that I still show beginning students was one I, one that he inherited from somebody uh, called Shades of Funk. Does that ring a bell at all? Yes, it rings. Yes, 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 yes. And I yes. think it was one of his students that put it together, or another teacher. Is uh, that an open G? No, it's no, it, it's all around a G chord. It's just little blues licks in. G. Yeah, I'm gonna put a cable on since you're there. Just be in tune. You know, it's, your, it's your Mississippi John Hurt kind of licks yeah. left and right. You it's, know? Basically, it's, it's basically spike driver blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I use that frequently as a beginning finger picking song for students to get, get this steady alternating bass and you know don't have to do much with your left hand and, and things like that. So there's only two of his that I that I remember. I eventually yeah. went on and, and you know wrote all kinds of finger picking songs and you know arranged a bunch of yeah. flashy flash instrumentals and all that kind of stuff. That's sort of sort of the direction I went in was not the singing direction because I was never comfortable singing, and so. Um, a story I tell uh, people, and they say, "Hey, well, why, you know, how'd you get how you get so good at instrumental guitar playing and stuff?" And I tell them, "Well, because you know, when I was a teenager and I was not about to sing in front of anybody, they'd say, well, can you play uh, Can't Buy Me Love?'" And I'd say, "Sure, it goes like this." I said, that doesn't sound anything like Can't Buy Me Love. I said, "Well, so I eventually learned to do this." Turn yeah. into instrumentals because then they yeah. say, "Oh yeah, it sounds just like it." I didn't know the Beatles did it like that. That's that's the other thing I hear. It's like <laughs> I didn't know they could finger pick like that. It's on an outtake. Yeah, yeah, that's they can't. They didn't do it like that, you know. But with me not singing, I need to be able to play the chords and the melody and the and the drums and the bass. You know, yeah. I need to be need to be a one man band yeah. and yeah. stuff. You know, yeah. but um, and definitely got all that that from Al from being able to just you know get the hang of, of keeping a bass going and and, and putting. Well, he was very in. clean. He was a very very clean player. Yeah, I, I tried yeah. to learn. I, um, Flamenco uh, uh, really attracted me, and I, I took uh, I took a little bit from him, either flamenco or classical, but I gave up because it was too demanding on the right hand position, and it just wasn't. It yeah. wasn't. I wanted to get out of myself. I didn't want to get farther into yeah. myself. And I figured if I was going to be spending that much time really hunkering down on instrumental stuff, then I would just get farther withdrawn. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that. Yeah. And the only way to get out was to shout. Okay? And to raise your voice and to, yeah. you know, talk in public. And this this is a, you know, this thing is a shoehorn. Yeah. And I look at it as a shoehorn. It opens, okay. It pries open your space in the world. Mm. And you can talk with it. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have this, 
You can say almost anything. Mm -hmm. The people challenge you on it, you can just shrug your shoulders and say, it's only a song. Yeah. yeah. You know? And you can get ideas out there that you would never be able to do in a public speaking or whatever, mm -hmm. on a soapbox or something. You can, yeah. you can talk it. Last night speaking to Al, he was very uh, complimentary. He says, you know, one of the things I remember about Jim was he just always come back, came back with, with cool songs he'd written and stuff. He says he was already writing a bunch of songs by the time he was taking lessons from me. He said, and sometimes it seemed like he was just making them up on the spot, which is obviously oh, yeah, the yeah. case, you know. Um, but, yeah, I do that sometimes. But yeah, he was, uh, you know, it was interesting to hear his sort of recollections, you know, about, about you and, and me a little bit, you know, cause, but again, being, uh, anyway, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool.